Whenever I talk to people that are interested in Japan but don't learn the language, they usually tell me this because of kanji. Kanji, these scary little characters, just thinking at the huge amount of them scares people away, which I personally think is pretty sad, because to be honest, learning kanji is not that difficult. Hi, I'm David, and these are my tips for mastering kanji. Alright, first of all you need to make yourself clear what exactly you want to achieve. Do you want to be able to read a newspaper here? Do you want to be able to attend a university in Japan? Do you want to get good JLBT grades? Do you maybe just want to talk to your Japanese friends? Setting your priorities straight will make your life a lot easier down the line. There are two main groups of studying, reading and writing. Now for everything that's academic, you need to be able to write kanjis. For example, if I tell you the word shugudai, you need to be able to on the spot recall what kanji that is and write it because chances are that you might need that in some essays. But for most of your day, reading kanji is completely fine. You don't need to feel bad about not being able to write them. Hell, even some Japanese people cannot write all the kanjis anymore. Even when writing Japanese on a computer or on a smartphone, you can just transliterate hiragana into kanji, so as soon as you're able to read kanji, you can also write them. My recommendation for you is, unless you really want to go to a university here, learn only reading. You can always catch up writing later. If you feel super motivated though, try to write each kanji at least once or twice, so you get a feeling on how the writing system here actually works and what radicals combine to make one single character. This will make your life down the line a lot easier. Alright, here's what you're gonna need. A small note. A piece of paper, a pen, a smartphone or a laptop, the app Anki or Memrise or any other flashcard app. The pen and small note you take with you wherever you go. Force yourself into contact with Japanese culture by either browsing the Japanese web, reading manga, be in Japan or simple things like changing your phone's language to Japanese. And here's how it works. Whenever you see a kanji that you don't know, you're gonna write it on that note. You do that for your entire day when you're outside. And once you have some free time at home or in the train, you're gonna look up these words in a dictionary like Tangodin, Imiwa or Google Translate and write the meaning of it down. Then you add that word into your flashcard system. I'm using Anki here. You will see that adding up a kanji collection by doing this happens actually quite fast. Okay, once you did that, pick a time during the day. Any time is okay. For me, I pick the morning because I think I can concentrate the best in the morning, but everyone is different. Every single day at exactly that time, you're gonna open up your flashcard system and learn 10 to 15 new words and review 30 to 40. Reviewing is the absolutely most important part here, so make sure that you don't slag off and don't cheat yourself. If you don't know a word, just be honest and type it in, even though it means that that word will come soon again. If you learn writing as well, Anki has an option to automatically generate reverse cards for you, so use that option and make sure that you actually write the kanji on a piece of paper. Don't write it on a computer, write it on an actual piece of paper, otherwise it will not work. Now why does this method work so well? Your flashcard system makes sure that you keep reviewing difficult words and constantly re-asks you about old ones to make sure that you don't forget them. This part is extremely important when dealing with such a big number of characters. By creating your own collection you actually have a reason why you want to learn these words. You needed that word to be able to read something and you want to make sure that the next time when you see whatever that was, you can read it, right? You have a lot more stronger and more personal connection to that character than you would have gotten if you just copied it from a Japanese study book. It even helps your brain to recall information by making the connection to that moment when you needed that character and you didn't know it. Again, just to repeat, stick with your own word list. Don't download a big database from the internet with thousands of words in them. I know you can, I know it's very tempting, but unless you really have to power study for JLPT and one or something like that, don't do it. Stick with your own words. You will learn a lot faster. And that, my friends, is my secret to kanji studying. It might be a bit tiresome in the beginning, but once your brain goes into routine mode, which should be around after 20 days, you will see that suddenly you can study a big amount of kanjis in a very short time. Again, this is just my method to studying kanji. For me, it works extremely well. I know a few other people who also really prefer this method, but for you, it might not work like that. Everyone is different in that regards. I still hope these tips help some of you out there. If you have a different method of studying, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for new things to try out. Thanks you guys for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye.